horror games rule the roblox landscape i mean if you look at the most popular roblox games of all time i mean there's so many horror games in there i don't know there's just something addicting about hopping into a game with your friends and just seeing who pees their pants first i mean with games like doors or like anything next bots or backrooms are related you're never gonna run out of horror games to try out and for the longest time i've always wanted to make my own horror game but i just was never able to find a cool or unique way to make one until recently see i've been watching a lot of fnaf like fan game reviews i don't even know why i just have and that's kind of been taking up a lot of my time recently so i tried translating all those videos that i've been watching into a game of my own but i just didn't want to make a fnaf clone that's been done so many times on the roblox platform and just way better than i could ever do so after watching countless hours of indie horror game videos and just fnaf stuff in general i finally built up the courage to try at least and make my own horror game so the idea i had was you're stuck in your neighbor's house after you broke into his house to retrieve something you left there but when you get into the house you see your neighbor arriving back so then you lock him out and this is where the gameplay begins so the base idea was was basically where you just hide from your this neighbor guy it's a very simple idea that i felt i could make pretty quickly so i did in under 12 hours <laughs> also i know you're not subscribed because i'm not at a million subs yet so uh hit the button uh thank you anyways i opened studio and instantly started working on the map slash house because it was very crucial to how this game would work so i made a silly little bricky house outline that you could see in the game right here and uh, i used the style that you see a lot in roblox it's like the old default roblox style of building you know it's just like the studs on everything and stuff like that and uh, i was basically done with the house outline but at this point i needed places to hide such as closets this is a very simple and like obvious thing that i needed to add to the game i mean if you look at any horror game you played there's some sort of closet mechanic i mean look at doors so i added two closets with small little things in it to kind of differentiate the two that'll be kind of important later and then i moved on to some other hiding spots such as a tv cabinet shelf I don't know what to call this thing, but it has a TV on it. And on the topic of closets, I started working on a storage closet where you could hide behind boxes. And uh, yeah, I, I just put some boxes in there. I don't know why. It looks ugly. It looks very ugly, but like, it's cool. Then I moved on to the other hiding spot, which was uh, the bed. Another pretty obvious thing that you should have in any game where you have to hide. Then I moved on to another room, which was the bathroom. And this one was not that tricky. I was going to put a hiding spot under the sink, but then I realized that there's a bathtub in almost every bathroom in the world. And now I was basically done for the time being. I added some other hiding spots, but they weren't really, I don't know, important. <laughs> and uh, I also had to get coding the game because I haven't started that yet. So I made it so you could hide in said spots. Basically how, how this works is it just like teleports you inside of the said object and then it like anchors you so you can't move. And then I made it so as soon as you hide in any spot, it starts the break-in. See, your neighbor breaks down the door and then he has to search for you. But you know, what if the person doesn't hide? Well, then I added a little timer. I added this little alarm clock that when it like hits 1 a.m. or whatever, or 1 o'clock, 1 p.m., I don't know what time it is. Uh, then then uh, the neighbor will break down the door anyways and you will die <laughs> and boom the game was basically done you can hide away from your neighbor and and you have like a timer that like you know forces you to hide but that was really easy like you could just hide in any spot and it takes like three seconds so i added a little spin to the game that would make it somewhat more difficult a night system see this is a very classic thing in a lot of fnaf games but basically each night makes it a little bit harder by harder i kind of just mean it makes your time a lot less each night takes around 15 seconds off of your night so you have to make your decisions quicker but that's again too easy so I started working on some other mechanics. Basically, I made it so every night was random. So you basically need to search the house for clues, and you have to use each clue that you find to find the right spot to hide it. I also added some other game rules, such as doors affecting if you are caught or not, and uh, that's it. The game is basically Bruh. done. Granted, it's not the most scary, but I mean, for my first attempt at a scary game, I mean... It's something, I don't know. Oh, and also, if you do end up playing this game, there will be a lot of bugs. I'm not a very skilled coder, okay? I don't know much about scripting at all. I've done bug testing myself, but obviously, I'm not going to find bugs that you're going to find, because you're going to play the game a lot more different than I do. If you find any game-breaking bugs, please forgive me and just tell me in the comments. If you have a really high ping on Roblox, like you have a bad internet, this game probably won't work as well for you. It, you can still play it with bad ping, but it's just not going to work well. <laughs> Anyways, that's my game. Bye-bye.